students in this video i'm going to discuss projections so what is a projection so suppose we have r r be a basically a relation between x and y capital x and capital y so suppose r uh, be a fuzzy relation defined as members as x y and their membership value in r is denoted by mu r x y where x y belongs to capital x and capital y these are x, capital x is a universal set capital y is another universal set x cross y represents the cartesian product okay so in this cartesian products we are having elements of the form x y so in this relation basically we are having these type of elements with their membership values in r now the projection of r on x is denoted by either p1 this or r we are having a downward arrow arrow x what is the meaning of this fish the meaning is that we are having basically if you draw the graph then you can easily understood the meaning suppose we have this suppose we are having a uh, this anything is there for example say this just this is for your just giving you the idea suppose this is x this is say y this is a any function or any curve any boundary now if you want to find out the projection the projection of this in x direction then basically what we have is this figure we will have this because in x direction the projection will be this this interval this will be the interval this interval is the projection in because we are because we are forcing for example suppose we have a torch here so we just lighted this or giving this direction suppose a torch hai maine yahan se jalaya so we are having its image on x axis this interval this is basically the projection this on x or denoted by p1 fine similarly suppose we want to find out the projection in y direction then we are now ab hum torch idhar se jalayenge so we are getting the its image this and this will be the projection of r this is basically the r r on y this is on y or p2 this is the meaning this is called the projection okay so this is just graphical depiction so that you can understand so now here so what is the p1 p1 is the projection or r downward x and defined to be a fuzzy set so fuzzy set on x because projection will be on x axis so now this relation becomes a because now that you can see here the dimension of this is 2 however the dimension of this will be only 1 so this relation which is of two dimensional fuzzy set now becomes a single dimensional fuzzy set okay so now it's a single dimensional fuzzy set so that's why this is a fuzzy set on x only given by r downward x is equal to either p1 is equal to members we have x and their membership in mu p1 where x belongs to x where mu p1 at x is nothing but the maximization of mu r x y okay and maximization is taken over y basically in this pair x y because x y belongs to capital x cross y by the definition so here maximization is taken over y that means we fix particular x and vary all the y y1 y2 y3 among them find out the maximum one this is basically the membership value of this gives you the membership value of x in p1 so p1 is called the domain of r and written as dom r similarly the projection of r on y is defined denoted by p2 or r downward y and 
defined to be a fuzzy set on y given by r downward y is equal to p2 which is nothing but the collection of the members of the form y mu p2 y members will be y and their membership value is given by this mu p2 y where y belongs to y now to find out this mu p2 y this is nothing but the maximization of mu r x y and here maximization is taken over all x belongs to x that means y will be fixed but for particular y we will vary all the x and then find out the maximum value this is the meaning okay now the total projection so total projection of r is denoted by pt and here we are not using the tiled because because we are basically having a point so since you can see here for example this is the r when you take in its projection in say x direction so we are getting this now take the projection of this in y axis so ultimately you will getting a point only pehle humne iska projection yahan liya fir humne idhar se torch lagayi so we are getting a point only we are not getting any set fuzzy set that's why we are having only pt so pt and is defined by pt is equal to maximum maximum mu r x y that means this part and we are combining these two parts simultaneously so that's why maximum maximum mu r x y here first maximization is taken over y second maximization is taken over x so ultimately we are getting a value and this value is basically called the height height of the relation or denoted by hr fine so this is the meaning now we can generalize this because here we have taken only two dimensional suppose we are having n dimensional things so let x1 x2 xn be n universal sets and let s be the collection of all these ones x1 x2 xn and let i which is subset of nn nn is nothing but the their indices 1 2 n we are collecting in ke jo index hai unka collection hai okay and this is the subset That means हम इन में से किस कुछ भी ले सकते हैं वन टू ही लें बस अमंग द एन नंबर्स वन टू थ्री एंड सो ऑन सो दैट्स वाई अगर हम आर नंबर लेते हैं इनमें से सिर्फ सो कार्डिनेलिटी ऑफ आई इज इक्वल टू आर विच इज ऑब्वियसली लेस देन एन और इक्वल टू एन फाइन दिस इज द मीनिंग सो टी इज नथिंग बट अब जो हम नंबर लेंगे यहाँ वन टू आर उनके जो सेट्स हैं कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग सेट दिस इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ दोज For example, suppose here you have taken only one, two, and one, two. So here we will take x one and x two only. If you are, we will take here one, two, and five. For example, so x one, x two, and x five. Fine. This is the meaning. So T is basically x i where i belongs to i. So x i one, x i two, and x i r. That means suppose you are taking one, two, and five here. So we are having x one, x two, and x five. This is the meaning. Fine. So now, let R be a fuzzy relation on x one, x two, x n. This is the total fuzzy relation you can see, and then the projection of R on T, which is nothing but the sub collection of this, is denoted by this P R downward T or P I one, P I two, P I R, and is defined to be a fuzzy relation on x I one cross x I two cross x I R with membership function. so to understand the meaning of this suppose suppose say we have x1 cross x2 cross x3 cross x4 let's see suppose we are having this this part okay a here so suppose our s is what is s our s is x1 x2 x3 and x4 okay and suppose i we are considering only one and say 3 i am not considering anything more we are considering this that's why the cardinality of i is 2 which is less than equal to 4 4 is the total number of availability fine so now what will be the t then the t will be t will be the corresponding numbers for 1 we are having x1 so x1 for 3 we have x3 this is our t okay so now here so let r be the fuzzy relation on this so r be a fuzzy relation between x1 cross x2 cross x3 cross x4 this is the meaning then the projection 
of r on t what is t t in this direction this we are taking the projection of the whole this on x1 or x3 only so that's why what is our interest take the projection of r on t what is t what is r now you can easily understand so now here p i1 this is denoted by p i1 p i2 that means 1 and 3 the index i1 is nothing but 1 index i2 is nothing but 3 so here we are interested in p13 this is the meaning here we have 1 here we have 3 okay and defined to be a fuzzy relation this is a fuzzy relation p13 means x1 cross x3 so this is a basically a fuzzy relation because we are having more than one dimensional this is a two dimensional that means a relation fine so four dimension ka hamara total tha jabki t jo humne banaya wo two dimension ka hai ab ab hum projection nikal rahe hain ye four dimension mein se two dimension pe ja rahe hain and this is denoted by p13 isme jo iska jo cartesian set hoga wo hoga x1 cross x3 type ka okay yahi yahan dikhaya gaya hai so now mu r dot this projection elements kahan ke honge element yahi se aayenge yahan se aayenge so that's why xi1 xi2 xir for example in our case x1 and x3 only mu p 1 2 3 for example in our case 1 3 only yahan 1 3 members will be x1 and x3 only so in general xi1 xi2 xir and we will take again maximization maximization taken over r x1 x2 xn ye pura ka pura universal set aayega ye is type ka is type ka okay aur maximum hum pehle bhi aapko pata hai keval in numbers par lete the inko fix kar lete the baki so wohi hum yahan karenge okay so let's see application so suppose we have three sets x1 x2 x3 in x1 we have two elements 0 1 in x2 we have two elements 0 1 in x3 we have three elements 0 1 2 and r be a fuzzy relation on x1 cross x2 cross x3 whose membership grades are given in the following table so this is the table so we have taken all the possible elements so x1 x2 x3 so in x1 we have elements 0 in x2 suppose we have taken element 0 and here we have taken 0 so this is the one combination similarly 0 0 1 that means 0 0 1 then 0 0 2 so these are the initial 3 then we can have 0 1 0 0 1 1 then 0 1 2 these are the next 3 elements similarly 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 sorry 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 2 these are the next three elements then 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 and 1 1 2 these are the next three elements okay so overall 2 into 2 into 3 total 12 elements will be there so these are the total 12 elements 0 0 1 1 element 0 0 1 another element 0 0 2 another element and so on and these are the membership grades for this member the membership grade is 0.4 for this member the membership grade is 0.9 and so on now find the projection of r on x1 denoted by p1 projection of r on x2 denoted by p2 projection of r on x1 x2 okay so now we will find out this so first is the projection of r on x1 denoted by p1 by the definition r on x1 is equals to p1 is equals to members will be of this form x1 mu p1 x1 where x1 belongs to capital x1 and membership grade is given by mu p1 x1 is nothing but the maximum of mu r x1 x2 x3 and here maximization is taken over x2 x3 by the definition of this this maximization is taken over kyunki hum x1 pa le rahe hain to bas x1 ko hata do in teen mein se x1 x2 x3 mein se to member yahan ho jayenge x2 and x3 theek 
सो नाउ म्यू पी वन अब देखते हैं वी इन एक्स वन इन कैपिटल एक्स वन वी हैव ओनली टू एलिमेंट जीरो एंड वन सो फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड आउट द म्यू पी वन जीरो देन म्यू पी वन वन दोनों के हमें वैल्यूज निकालने हैं एंड बाय द डेफिनेशन मैक्सिमाइजेशन सो इन म्यू पी जीरो जीरो तो एक्स वन के जीरो एलिमेंट्स ये दिख रहे होंगे आपको सिक्स सिक्स एलिमेंट्स एंड यू कैन वेरी ऑल द पेयर्स ऑफ एक्स टू एक्स थ्री दैट मीन जीरो 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 वन जीरो टू वन जीरो वन 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 टू दीज आर द टोटल पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एक्स टू एंड एक्स थ्री अमंग दीज सिक्स अमंग दीज सिक्स दैट मीन्स वी विल कंसिडर द एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम हियर मेम्बरशिप ग्रेड्स पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट नाइन पॉइंट टू वन जीरो एंड पॉइंट एट फॉर दिस जीरो सो नाउ फाइंड आउट द मैक्सिमम वन मैक्सिमम वन इज वन सो दैट्स वाई दिस इज वन and all the grades are written here the maximum is 1 similarly for 1 mu p 1 next element maximization is taken over all the possible elements and here is 1 you can see all the six elements and these are the total pairs possible pairs now find out the maximum among these six elements 0.5 0.3 0.10 0.51 so among these maximum is 1 so that's why again 1 so projection p1 is basically 0 with 1 1 with 1 so 0 with 1 1 with 1 okay now the second p2 p2 is the projection of r on x2 so by the definition p2 is nothing but x2 mu p2 x2 where x2 belongs to capital x2 and membership mu p2 x2 is given by the maximization of mu r x1 x2 x3 and here now we will not consider x2 that means we will consider only x1 x3 so maximization is taken over x1 x3 pairs so now in this table you can see that in x2 we have again 0 and 1 elements so mu p2 0 and mu p2 1 so mu p2 f0 so now in the x2 row find out the 0 0 0 0 and then 0 0 0 so these three elements and these three elements find out their membership so these are the three membership and three membership so these three and these three so among these six elements initial three and these three find out the maximum one so maximum one will be 0.9 okay so these are the total list listed element these are the initial three elements that means these three and these are the next three elements 0.5 0.3 0.1 so 0.5 0.3 0.1 and among these find out the maximum one which is 0.9 now for mu p2 1 so in x2 row find out 1 1 1 so this is these are the 1 1 1 these three and these three so now the associated members will be these 1 0.8 0 0.5 and 1 so they are listed here among these find out the maximum one one is the maximum one so p2 is nothing but zero with 0.9 this then one with one one with one this is the second projection now the projection of r on x1 x2 denoted by p12 this one is associated with this one this two is associated with this two okay so p12 in short p12 is basically the so in 1 2 basically we are having elements of the form x1 x2 so that's why pair x1 x2 mu p12 x1 x2 where x1 belongs to capital x1 x2 belongs to capital x2 and this membership grade is given by mu p12 x1 x2 is maximization of mu r x1 x2 x3 yahan sare elements aayenge aur yahan wo aayega jo yahan nahi isko hatane ke baad yani x1 x2 hata do yahan se तो केवल x3 बचेगा सो so x3 थ्री इज लिस्टेड ईयर तो अब हम x3 को वेरी करेंगे सिर्फ x1, x2 को फिक्स करेंगे ओके दिस इज द मीनिंग नाउ इन दिस टेबल यू कैन सी x1, x2। टू सो वी विल फिक्स द x1, x2। तो x1, x2 को जब हम फिक्स करेंगे तो टू इंटू टू टोटल फोर पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन बनेंगे जीरो वन जीरो वन सो फोर पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन विल भी जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो एंड वन वन सो जीरो जीरो इज हियर जीरो जीरो इज हियर जीरो जीरो इज हियर so initially three elements associated with zero zero so for zero 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 combination zero zero we have three elements zero 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 so for this find out the maximum value which is point nine so this is written here point four point nine point two that means these three and then the maximum is point nine now the next pair will be 
P12 0 1 that means 0 1 0 1 0 1 so three elements will be there 1 0 0.8 these are the membership grades for these so they are listed here 1 0 0.8 and among these maximum is 1 now the next element will be 1 0 that means 1 and then 0 so 1 0 1 0 1 0 again we have three elements their membership grades are given here now find out the maximum one which is 0.5 so 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.1 and among these three maximum is 0.5. Next is mu p12, 11. So last three elements, 11, 11, 11 and their membership grades are 0 0.51. So 0 0.5.1 and the maximum is 1. So now the p12 is given by this member 00, 0 with membership 0 0.9. Second is 01 with 1. So 01 with 1. Then 10 with 0.5. 1 0 with 0.5 and then 1 1 with 1 1 1 with 1 so this is the projection okay so now if you want to find out here is a note if you want to find out p21 here is 1 2 here is p21 then this is not possible why because ordering matters ordering matters the ordering is x1 x2 x3 we don't have any ordering x2 into x1 into x3 if we have such type of ordering x2 x2 into x1 into x3 then this could be possible but but if this is not given to you because or given to you that x1 x2 x3 then we can only find out p12 we are not able to find out p21 because ordering matters okay so this is the all about the projection in the next video we will discuss about the cylindric extension okay thank you